will this be on TNT, Zach? Knock <laughs> at the cabin. The I mean, second be cool R-rated if they movie from M. Night Shyamalan. There's really, you know, just a couple of things, a couple of swear words. All of the violence happens off screen. So it's very yeah. easy and ready to be something that goes on TNT because TNT had the commercials for it as well. James Harden got a knock at the cabin for one of the feature reps. <laughs> but nonetheless, this is the book adaptation of the cabin at the the, the last cabin at the end of the world. He, he switched yeah. titles because he said that he was going to go so different from the book that he didn't want the book readers to like hate him for it. So much mm. so, Zach, that he uh, on the first poster, M. Night just kind of forgot to put the author who you know entire dialogue is being ripped from the book into it. Right. Completely forgot to put his name in the first poster. I got a little bit of backlash in there, but that's because this auteur, M. Night Shyamalan, is back with another adaptation where four people knock at a cabin and just tell a family of three, uh, look, one of y'all's got to kill each other. You would think that there are better ways to do this but I've also been in churches and yeah, there are definitely several better ways to do it in the real world and yet it doesn't happen. What did you think of the metaphor, the performances, just the overall next installment to the M. Night Shyamalan legacy? I mean, I I thought that for the most part, this was a pretty gripping thriller. It's not necessarily the most edge of your seat uh, thriller, but it, it it's one of those movies that gets your mind going, gets you questioning, gets you thinking. And I like how they sort of slow play, <laughs> slow play the idea of like, how real is this, right? They They want you to be as sort of like limited for information as that central couple played by uh, Jonathan Groff and Ben Aldridge are in in the film. And in that regard, I found it very effective, particularly because Dave Bautista is so good here. I think that you kind of have to start and end the discussion with how, how compelling he is in this role kind of stuffed into this t-shirt that looks like a size buttoned up shirt. That's maybe like a size too small on him. Uh, he looks just sort of like this weird mix uh, w- with all the tattoos, but with how put together he is, he feels like this reformed felon or something. It, it's just like mm. this really, um, I don't know, just haunting kind of performance from him. And in for my money, the best he's been on screen, and this is a guy who I really do enjoy on screen, but it, he really uh, sells this movie. Um, I, I think that I wasn't, I was wanting for a little bit more to chew on during the film, but I think I ultimately liked and found the place that it landed to be somewhat profound. And mm-hmm. I, I, it's interesting to me that I'm seeing a lot of people sort of come away from the movie. Oh, is it anti-gay? Is it like, uh, you know, propaganda for the church? And I don't feel that way at all. I think it's actually kind of like there's a beautiful question being asked and it's it's a yeah. tough, hard question. But I, I think it's one that very easily could be um, substituted out for any kind of person who feels like they've been hurt by the world. Thank you, Zach. That's the best way to put it, even for people who don't like the film put, pulling on a plane over yeah. here. Knock at the Cabin is not as down the middle as people have made it seem to be. I've seen a lot of yeah. people go like, oh, that twist was crazy. And then other people go like, what? Twist? <laughs> oh, I can't believe yeah. he chose that ending. Uh, I thought he chose the other ending. I'll, this has become a Rorschach of a movie. There's a, a sequence in where yes. on, uh, Ron Weasley, they, they put this mask on him and it looks like a Rorschach mask. But the Rorschach mm-hmm. is not in the movie. The Rorschach is the movie. And what mm-hmm. you come out of it, how you think it comments on religion or doesn't comment on religion or the world. Seeing people come out with completely different perspectives. I can't believe this proved religion. I can't believe this <laughs> this religion. I can't believe this did the It's been so funny to see people not realize they're opening about their own personal history right and not the movies i agree with you yeah and any uh performance wise they killed it and hearing yeah. everybody diss m night Shyamalan, as if he's not the director doing this damn near black box mm-hmm. theater piece which is what they've all called it they're all in one location for a majority of the movie yeah. people he... have dissed m night but dave bautista said i didn't know what i was performing i would just do as many takes until he needed me so shout out Dave Bautista, but not the person who led him there. No, 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 no. Absolutely. I think that's why people are getting the ending wrong as well. Yeah, and I'm against I it. I was M. pushing Night... against the movie. Right. 
But, but I think the thing is, like, M. Night has really gotten to this very interesting place in his career where, like, he had that initial wave of success. Then he had that, like, low mm. period where people thought he was the worst filmmaker on the planet. And now he's gotten to this point where I think he's so good at riding this line between drama and horror and comedy and tragedy where his movies are kind of all things simultaneously. And it's it's like you don't know whether to laugh or to cry or to be off put and scared by it. But like it's I think he's really got a, a really brilliant handle on tone, not just through uh, the story, but also visually how he's telling this the way that. I, it, I, I actually didn't catch old until uh, this past weekend. So I just had my mini uh, M. Night catch up with Shyamalan. the two movies. And between both this film, Knock at the Cabin, and Old, he's so smart in the way he frames things that don't give you the visual information that would put your brain at ease. He wants your brain yeah. to be asking for more and a little bit discomforted by the fact that that, that thing you want to know is just outside of frame. And... I, it's so intentional yeah. and smart here. I, I, I'm so relieved to see a horror film that's directed with this much visual panache, you know? I kept this in all of its cinematography. I go to go see it again. And I was like, oh, that actually makes sense. Now I see what you were yep. going. You weren't just filming something else. You were actually filming something else. Like, ah, uh, he did. He got, he got me to do that. Um, look, I don't think it's his best movie that's come out. I don't think you'll, like, watch the movie and be like, I just sat through a satisfying 100-something minutes. I don't. But I think it's his best written movie. I think it's a very, very smart movie. In fact, one of my picks for the week was an oldie that I went to go watch because of this movie. Uh, so I'll be mm. bringing that up. I just, I think he got really good performances out of his actors. Uh, yeah. I think he's underrated in that respect. But I think uh, what he was able to symbolically, and like you said, thematically in, in what he leaves you feeling with these characters and what decisions they have to make. Cause it really is just a whole movie about who are you willing to believe yeah. and seeing people's interpretations. Yeah. I think has been the best, the, the, the best, uh, the best project, the best result that you could have gotten for a movie like this. Uh, I'm Absolutely. almost done with the book as well. So I know the changes have been really, really, really jarring and they are very different. I think he yes. made the right decisions on some and I don't think he, while he shifted some other things, I don't think it alters the story that much. You just see them go one route, but it the same things still apply. Shout out Aldridge. Also very good. Bautista Fantastic. Aldridge very good. And the little girl. What a standout, yeah. right? It's not just getting a big guy to say a lot of lines. Also getting a little girl, a kid, to do a lot of lines as well. Let's see if I can find her name yeah. here. Uh, I don't know if you remember her name. I want to say it was uh, Kristen. Was it, yeah, was it Kristen Ku Kui or Sui? Yeah, right there. Fantastic as when coming yeah. in, doing her thing. Uh, and in the book, all the characters are even more fleshed out. So if you did enjoy the yeah. movie, I would definitely recommend checking out the book as well. I tend to feel like act directors who can direct great performances out of child actors tends to be Six a sense. sign of a really great director. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir.